Words can't explain that, you know, it's, it's the feeling, that feeling. When I first made my debut, obviously I was starting as well, so that, that helped. You know, I looked around the stadium and you go at that left, right, centre, and you're just looking at 19,000 people that are passionate about football. Qualification Coupe du Monde 2014. Néanmoins, au cours de ce match, le public congolais a eu à découvrir Yannick Bolassi, jeune attaquant des Crystal Palace en deuxième division en Angleterre, qui pour sa première sélection chez les Léopards dans le couloir droit a démontré toutes ses qualités. I settled in quite well because it's the first time that I've actually played in front of that crowd, but I was buzzing to play in front of that crowd. And I wanted to show them what I've got because no one went away of who I was or what kind of team I played for. By the end of that game, all the fans knew me as number 11, which, which, was, which was good for me, you know, because anything I kind of did, you know, skill-wise, they cheer it on more than usual, more than what you'd see in England. It's like they appreciate the skills, you know, and that made me settle in so much quicker than I thought I would. Yeah, it's a, it's a dream come true. It's a competition that I've been seeing over the years. Obviously, the pitches and that have gone much better now, so that, that helps. But playing my first tournament and finishing third, you know, I couldn't have asked for a, a better debut tournament, to be honest. You know, obviously, I was looking forward to playing the, the 2017 just gone because I thought we had a very, very good chance of winning it. But fortunately, with the injury, football happened, things happened. I'm unfortunate, you know, just got to look at another time. World Cup's a dream that everyone wants to do. You know, you get all of these dreams. You get to so much, you get the Europa, you get the Champions League, and you get the World Cup. World Cup for me is a big draw, obviously for Congo as well, because knowing as Congo, we, would have, we haven't played the World Cup, but obviously we would have been there known as Zaire in the 74, first African team as well qualify for those people, for them Africans that think like Congo is not doing their thing. Just a little bit history free. But yeah, um, that's a, that, that'd be a dream come true. Doing that for the country, that'd be massive. You know, I can't explain. Just finishing third in Afcon, the, the scenes in Congo was, was a joke. I don't, like, you, you'd have to be there. So hard to explain because you almost think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. I'd have to not exaggerate and lower it down a little bit for you to believe what's happening. So getting the, to the World Cup, I don't know. You just have to wait and wait for that video because it'd be a joke.